Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies. And in this video, I'm going to try to answer a simple question. It is the question, what is the best page builder for WordPress? Okay, and I've seen this question asked. I've been personally asked this question. I've seen other people answer this question, and I'm going to try to tackle this entire issue in this video. Okay, so um, just buckle in. This video might be a little longer than some of my other ones, and what I've done differently in this video is I actually have a sheet of notes right here on the side so I can make sure that I am staying on track. So first of all, I want to talk about the problem with asking this question. Uh, the first problem is it depends on who you're asking it to. So if you're asking a friend, you're asking someone in a Facebook group, or maybe you're even asking some perceived WordPress guru or internet guru, depending on who you ask, you're going to get a different answer. You can ask 10 different people, you will get 10 different answers. And that's why this topic is kind of like stepping into a landmine, so to speak. And I'm sure that uh, people are passionate about the page builder that they have chosen to go with. Now, some of the problem I've seen around this discussion revolves around the different types of users of WordPress. So there's different groups. There's people that are brand new to WordPress and usually they're the ones asking this question. There's novice users. And there's what I like to call the WordPress purists. And they kind of um, are the ones that can be very, very harsh and not even give some page builders a chance and be very harsh on their criticism. And I'll talk more about this WordPress purist problem later in this video when I'm talking about the different page builders and some of their pros and some of their cons. So that's a problem I see. Uh, you have people with different skill levels, but you also have people with different goals. And so you just might want to have a landing page on your WordPress website. That might be your goal. Your goal might be to build an entire website with a page builder. That might be your goal. Everyone has different goals. And that's why this question is really hard to answer because these different page builders have their own pros and cons. And they have their own unique features to them. So it's a dynamic loaded question. That's why asking what is the best page builder for WordPress is a hard question to answer authentically. The next thing that makes this a very hard question to answer is that all of the page builders are in a different stage of development depending on when you ask. And kind of what's prompted this video is one of the largest WordPress page builders Divi just came out with a new version and they released a whole front end interface option and it's filled with eye candy. It's beautiful and I'm going to talk about Divi in this video and then you might look at some of the other ones and they don't look as pretty or they don't have some of the same features and things like that but it's important to note that every page builder is in a different stage of development and I happen to know that two of the page builders I'm about to talk about are being completely revamped. Their UI, the way you interact is being simplified. So if I answer the question today what I think is the best page builder that answer might change tomorrow when the next version of one of these page builders is released that's why this is a very loaded question on who you're asking it to and I'm going to have a special page on my website that I'm keeping up to date with these different changes of the different page builders that are coming out so it's very hard to answer this question because of these different stages of development so in this video, I want to talk about the four main front-end page builders for WordPress. Now, you might be thinking, but there's way more than four front-end page builders, and there totally are. And um, I, I limit it to four because these are the four that are going to have the most traction in WordPress and they are mature and they've got a development staff that's strong and committed behind them. And so that might change, but as of making this video, there are four main 
page builders that I'm going to talk about. And there's also those like uh, fringe ones, you know, uh, like the ones that are bundled with a theme. And I'm not going to talk about those. And those would be uh, Cornerstone. It comes with the X theme, which you find on ThemeForce. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, there's another one called Massive Dynamic, and it's only bundled with a the theme. There's a very small user base. I've heard uh, people ask me about that, and I'm not going to talk about that either because it's just there's no saying whether it's going to be around tomorrow. There's also Visual Composer, and they have a huge user base because it's bundled in a lot of themes, but it's a very poor front-end page builder. And also in the WordPress repository, there's a bunch of front-end page builders trying to get market share, but they're, a lot of them are really not getting traction, and they're not really being marketed properly, and I really don't see a future for a lot of them. So uh, that's why I had to narrow this down to the best four that I could come up with. So I'm just going to go through these four right now and try to hit the points. But like I said, you've got to go back to my website and always be keeping an eye on the freshest data to answer this question. And I have a page specifically geared towards this, comparison charts, videos for each of these different page builders on how to use them, and uh, what are the new developments with them. So first, let's take a look at Elementor. Now you might not have heard of Elementor. It is a free front-end page builder, and I'm sure in the future, actually I know for a fact in the future, they are gonna come out with a paid version of it. And Elementor is actually only a few months old, and I'm not being hypocritical by adding this to the list because their user base has skyrocketed. Their feature set has just matured. It is, it's moving at a fast pace. It's amazing what Elementor is doing. It is amazing what they're doing for a free page builder. In fact, I'm 99% sure my next done for you template is gonna be based off of Elementor because if you're looking for a free front end page builder, this is the very best option. It has a templating system in there, so you can, uh, it has built in templates, you can import, export templates, it has mobile specific editing, and it's just amazing what they've done with Elementor, and it's full featured and fully free. And I've got a bunch of videos that I'm going to be releasing on Elementor and uh, you should really follow them. You should like their Facebook page so you can keep tabs on the new features that they're adding. And they have literally the most aggressive marketing team out there. They are really good at getting the word out. They've got a huge user base overnight and I bet in time this will be one of the top, if not the number one free front end page builder. So right now I'm declaring Elementor is the best, most full featured and reliable free front end page builder. And that is Elementor. Here's their website. I can put links down to it below. It's just amazing what they've done and uh, you'll see more coming from them. Next, I have to talk about Divi. Divi is a page builder built by Elegant Themes. And it had always been what's known as a back-end page builder, and that's why I probably didn't talk about it a whole lot. But a few days ago, they released version 3, and they'd been working on that for a while. And it's a whole new front-end page building experience, and it's pretty amazing to look at. And I'll show you just briefly that front end user experience right now. Um, but uh, some of the pluses with Elegant Themes is they have a huge development community, a huge user community behind it. And anything you'd want to know how to do, there's many different places to ask. Uh, they are not going anywhere. Huge advancements in what they're developing with Divi. And Divi also has some very unique features. Like I said, you gotta go back to my website for the most up-to-date list, but I'll talk about one of them right now. And that is, it's the only page builder with A-B split testing built into it. So if you are concerned or wanting higher conversion rates on your website, 
Well, that's something that they are the only ones that have it, a split testing, A-B testing engine built into the page builder. And I think it's pretty darn amazing that they have that. Uh, they just released this brand new user interface on the front end. It's gorgeous. I'm going to show you that. Divi also has their haters out there, and that it goes back to those WordPress purists. They hate Divi with a passion, and depending on who you ask, you're going to have someone say they love Divi, or you're going to have someone say they hate Divi, and they're going to try to all give you their justifications for both. I think you have to be careful who you ask that question to and listen for clues on the answer that they give you. Um, I've seen a few people immediately dismiss their new user interface and, uh, you know, with the thought process that a new user to Divi is not going to know what to click on. And I think that um, argument, I hear it, but I also think it's absolute crap. And the reason I think it's a bunch of crap is because if you go to my website, I've got live chat on it. And, and my website and what I try to do, I'm gearing towards the new user to WordPress. And you know what? I've suggested the easiest to use front end page builder and they don't know how to use that. So any page builder that's someone new to website building or WordPress, they're not going to know how to use it and there is going to be a learning curve no matter which one. So you could say that this one's easier to use or that one's easier to use or I think this one's easier to use, but it's all relative because anyone new to WordPress and front end page building is going to have a learning curve no matter how you look at it, no matter how you cut it, there's going to be a learning curve. And I've tried to help people, and one of the uh, front end page builders I'm going to talk about is Beaver Builder, and I love Beaver Builder, but I've helped people brand new to WordPress with Beaver Builder, and they don't know what the heck they're doing. They all need help. They all need training. They all need to go through this learning curve. So to dismiss the front end page builder because you, you look at it and you don't immediately know what to click on, well, none of them have that. No page builder, you're going to immediately know what to click on. You're going to need to use it and get comfortable with it. So that is the problem with when you ask these WordPress purists their opinion on Divi. Another one is behind the scenes, Divi is creating something called short codes. And what that means is this notion of Divi for life, meaning you can't change and stop using Divi because your website will be a mess. But see, that's a baloney argument as well because there's numerous solutions on the internet of a little code you can drop in and all those short codes are cleaned up and you're gonna have the same content just put right there. So that's really just nonsense. And and that's actually one of the things people like about Beaver Builder is when you deactivate and choose not to use Beaver Builder, your content's still there. And uh, the same thing's there with Divi. If you just take that one little extra step, copy and paste a bit of code in, and you're going to be set. You, these, this, this whole notion of short codes and you can't move away from it, you're going to have the same workload with any of these page builders if you decide to stop using them and go on to a different one. So I personally think that's a bunch of baloney. Now there could be some some legitimacy with these short codes actually having your uh, website run a little bit slower. However, there's excellent caching solutions, hosting solutions, and if a web page takes an extra three or four milliseconds to load because you're using Divi, it's really not that big of a deal. And there's been studies that I've seen on the internet with the different page builders, comparisons, speed tests, and all that, that show there's really little difference between them speed-wise. No matter what WordPress page builder you use, you're going to need to use caching. You're going to need to optimize it. You're going to need to minify it. You're going to need to do all these things to get it to run at optimal speeds anyway. So I'm not so convinced on that argument either. Now I did hear it said if you have a really big site with Divi that it's just going to run slower. I, I think I'll see that when I believe it. I'm not saying that that's not the case, but I, what I am saying is for what most people want a WordPress website for, maybe 10 or 20 pages, Divi's a fantastic option. So here's their uh, announcement page. Oh, and one thing about Divi, it's probably the best value in WordPress. 
The pricing is so attractive and inviting. Uh, you can even get a lifetime license for it, so you're not paying a fee every single year, and uh, it's a great value. So I'm on their site right here, and let me just show you real quick what that new interface looks like. There's a button here that you can click on, and you could try the new interface for yourself. So, you know, you move around, you've got this uh, purple button here when you click on, you've got different options. You can hover over something, and if you don't know what it is, it'll tell you what the heck that button does. Whenever you make a change, there's a nice save button here. And if you want to undo something, you can click on this and you can revert back. There's such great things that you can do with this. It is probably the fastest front end page building experience that I've seen. So you can just click on some text like this and start typing away and you've got your editing options and uh, you can move things around. Um, now, like I said, this just came out. I'm sure there's going to be lots of refinements to it. Uh, but if you are coming from a different page builder, this might seem, uh, you might seem a little, feel a little out of place. I know I'm 40 years old and uh, at 30 you could give me a brand new cell phone and I could learn it and use it and feel happy. I'm 40, if you take my iPhone away and give me an Android phone, I'm gonna feel uncomfortable and out of place. And that's what I think boils it boils down to with the new interface. And I think it's uh, pretty good and time will tell how good this really is. So like I said, you gotta go back to my website and check it out. I like it, it's very pretty. Uh, but I'll have updated information on this on my website, depending on when you see this video. The next one I want to look at is right here. Actually, this wasn't it. This is what I wanted to look at right now. Thrive Content Builder. Now, Thrive Content Builder has lots of pros and cons with it, okay? It was one of the best first generation of front end page builders. Now that actually shouldn't scare you. I think they kind of pioneered the concept really. I mean, uh, they were the first page builder that was front end that I had ever seen that had a true front end editing page experience. And this was back in 2014, just a few years ago. Now, uh, they were one of the firsts. Now, there's a different twist to Thrive Content Builder. It's more kind of geared towards marketing. So a lot of their elements, they're really geared towards marketers. And ultimately, most websites were marketing ourselves, our website, our product, our business. We're marketing something. And, and that's kind of the twists and turns that uh, Thrive Content Builder's strengths are in. And one of the most unique features of it is it has a landing page feature where you can uh, create a new page and and they've got uh, about well over a hundred templates built in they keep adding new templates to these landing page packs it's pretty amazing the value that they give you with it let me just quickly scroll down so here's what the editor looks like but I'm gonna comment on their their editor here real soon it's it was really one of the first what you see is what you get editing experiences it's a very mature and it's packed with features that are marketing related and I love it I actually use this on a lot of my sites that I might use one of the other page builders on and it's usually because of this unique landing page feature and some of these unique marketing elements uh, that it has now when I was talking about each of these page builders being in a different stage of development, I can tell you, I'm allowed to tell you, that Thrive Content Builder is being redeveloped from the ground up. Now, soon they're gonna come out with version 1.5, and then when they come out with version two, the whole interface is gonna be redone and simplified. So one of the, the complaints I've heard about Thrive Content Builder is that it's a little complicated to work with. Well, they're well aware of that and they are simplifying it and they're redesigning the user interface. And that's one of the things I like about this whole page builder war. You have Elementor and Divi putting pressure on companies like Thrive Content Builder to update their UI and make it better and better. I personally am a big fan of Thrive Content Builder and a lot of the things that they are doing, I use them Personally, you'll see them being used on all of my websites, in fact. And the pricing for Thrive Content Builder is very attractive. They have one-time fee that gets you one year of support but a lifetime of updates, which is a real unique feature to them that 
all the other ones don't have. Uh, a lot of your typical WordPress pricing is you either get it for lifetime, which is not a good practice, or you get a one year of updates and one year of support. And if you want anything beyond that year, you have to pay for it, even if you don't need the support. Well, what they're doing unique, that's unique is you're gonna get the updates, so you're gonna get the new features, and they're constantly adding new features, but you're not going to get support after that year. You have to pay some nominal fee if you want support. And I think that is a more upfront, reasonable way to go for any WordPress product. But I understand why they do it the way they do it for, for revenue and keeping it uh, the money coming in. Now, what I want to say that's bad about Thrive Content Builder, you can use it with any theme, but it doesn't fully integrate with themes. And what I'm talking about is full width rows. So if I scroll up, you see how this is a row right here and it has this color and then here's a different row and it has a different color. Well, these are called full width rows. And the big negative right now with Thrive Content Builder is that you can't get that full width row unless you use Thrive Content Builder on one of their themes or you're using the landing page feature in Thrive Content Builder. Now I'm begging, begging, begging the developers to, to change that and that's why you gotta go back to my website. I'll keep the data uh, all up to date, the features all up to date, but this is a big negative for them. But I think that uh, with a little bit of luck, they will fix that in version two. I don't know that for sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm begging them to update and change that because I want this to be the very best product that it can be. Um, so that is Thrive Con Content Builder. So now the last one I'm gonna look at is actually right here, and this is Beaver Builder. Now Beaver Builder is actually the favorite of a lot of WordPress developers. I use Beaver Builder on a lot of my sites, and, and if I was to go build a brand new website today, I would use Beaver Builder for that. It is geared towards building out full websites with it. It's pretty fantastic. They also have a theme available that it works perfectly with. So Beaver Builder is great for full website build out and it's very efficient. It's very easy to use. I like Beaver Builder a lot. Now, uh, they have an excellent templating feature, and what this means is you can also import and export templates. They have built-in templates, but you can save modules and rows and stuff like that. I've got a whole video on that, how amazing it is. Now, there's also a free version of Beaver Builder and a paid version of Beaver Builder. I'm speaking about the paid version. The free version is stripped down. If you have no intention of ever paying for a page builder, you want to go with Elementor. If you want a paid page builder with professional support, that's where the Beaver Builder comes in. So they've got this fantastic templating feature. It easily integrates with any theme pretty much. Um, now, for instance, I'm using it on my site and it's it's just a few snippets of code that I needed to add to get that full width row on my site and it integrates perfectly on my site. I really love that about Beaver Builder and there's a plugin called a weird name Genesis Dam Buster which allows you to use Beaver Builder full width templates full width uh, rows on every single studio press template and child theme uh, it's uh, pretty fantastic and it's great for that and a lot of developers are getting around uh, Beaver Builder theme developers they just ink the deal with uh, GoDaddy it's just where GoDaddy is essentially going to install it automatically in a lot of their websites and they got a huge user base of the free and the paid version it's a very healthy company. Um, so uh, now with Beaver Builder, I do want to say that they are also redesigning the interface. So this is kind of what the interface looks like right now. Um, when they release the version two of it, it's going to be completely slick, amazing. They've been putting out little sneak hint videos out and it's going to be a thing of beauty. I love Beaver Builder. It is super reliable. The Beaver Builder community is pretty passionate about Beaver Builder, just like the Divi community is passionate about Divi. So that is uh, Beaver Builder uh, in a nutshell. And their unique feature that's coming out, I don't think it's going to actually be given away for free uh, to paid owners of the plugin. I think they're going to it's going to be an add-on plugin that they might charge for. I don't know. You can't quote me on that. Uh, but they're making a feature 
or you can design page templates, any page in WordPress, you can design a template for in Beaver Builder. So your 404 pages, your blog posts, which is actually one of the weaknesses I think of Beaver Builder currently i wouldn't use it for blog posts it's just pages so uh anyways that is beaver builder so one thing you might have noticed in this video is i didn't answer the question of what is the best wordpress front end page builder and that's because it depends on so many factors and that's why i want you to go back to my website it's wpcrafter.com and you're going to easily be able to find a page that is going to be tracking all of these front end page builders. It's going to be kept up to date. It's going to have a breakdown of the features, a comparison chart of everything. It's going to have separated out the videos I have on each of these four page builders. It's going to be a place for you to get your frequently asked questions answered. It's going to be a place for you to, to comment and get an answer from me and uh, all of that. So I really want you to head back over to my website depending on when you are watching this video. Now I will tell you for me my answer to that question and you know what? My answer might change. So maybe I shouldn't do it, but I'll do it anyway. I, if I had to build a website for someone for a business, I'm gonna use Beaver Builder. If that business needed landing pages, I very well likely might also inc include Thrive Content Builder on that site so I can quickly crank out landing pages for them. That's my answer. Um, Divi, I honestly, I need to play around with it. I need to try to build a full website with it. And I intend on doing that and also releasing a course on Divi to help people get through that initial learning curve. With Beaver Builder, I already have a promotion on my site where if you click through my site and you buy it through the link on my site, I'm giving away a training course on it that will take you from being new to Beaver Builder to being able to build out a full website and leverage all the power of Beaver Builder. Now, Elementor, if I had no budget and I had no money to buy a website theme or buy a website page, a WordPress page builder, Elementor all the way, Elementor all the way. And I don't know what the future really holds for Elementor. I know they're gonna have a paid version and the way they're going is just like this. User base is going like this. Their feature set's going like this. I don't even think anything can stop them. With Divi, I really need to dig into it and I'm just being transparent. I'm not gonna rush to judgment on Divi and say it's crap or it's this or it's that. I don't know where to click and this, that, and the other because I really need to use Divi, build a full website with Divi, and that's what I'll be doing here soon over the next few months. And I'm sure when you go over to my website, I'll have a whole library of videos on Divi. So I hope I gave you enough information to make the decision for yourself. Uh, I hope to see you on my website. I have a live chat there. You can go to my live chat and ask me a question uh, if you just want to know what I think's the best for your situation, I'm more than happy to uh, interact and communicate with you via live chat on my website or a comment down below or a comment on my website. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video. Hey, I put together a course just for you and I'm gonna give it to you for free. All you have to do is click on the button right here on the right. It's called the three steps to WordPress success. It's an awesome course. You're gonna love it. I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I do it just for you.